What is going on guys, my name is Tenphoenix01 and I'm back by popular demand baby yeah. In this video today guys I'm going to be talking to you about how you might be able to find other players in No Man's Sky. But before I get into it I just need to let you know that there's a little bit of a secret that I'm going to tell you guys at the end of this video because I like to torture you. Now if you're not interested in scientific stuff you might want to click away now. Sean Murray showed off the galactic map. When he showed off the galactic map you may have noticed that there were stars that were different colours although those stars were still kind of rare. Now I have a theory and my theory is that the game contains pulsars. Now a pulsar is effectively the lighthouse of the universe. What it does is it rotates on its axis emitting a narrow beam of radiation like a lighthouse. Now if that is actually true, if there are actually pulsars in No Man's Sky we will be able to use them as kind of like a waypoint and also as a meeting point. Now if they're rare then it makes it all the more easier for us to navigate in No Man's Sky. For example, if you are near a pulsar and you know that your friend is in the same quadrant as you then you can head towards that pulsar and possibly meet them. And that leads me on to another thing. There are actually quadrants in the galactic map of No Man's Sky. So for example, you might be able to meet your friend in the Alpha Quadrant. If you watch Star Trek, you'll get that reference. Now the Alpha Quadrant itself will probably be huge. So although that won't be a place where you could definitely say that you're definitely 100% gonna meet them, obviously it will help you with meeting them. Now, if that's true, then obviously you can say that I'm going to head towards Alpha Quadrant because there is actually a Pulsar there and you could meet at the Pulsar. That's one of the ways in which you might be able to meet your friends in No Man's Sky. Another method that you might be able to use is what I call the breadcrumbs method. Now for example if you enter into a solar system in No Man's Sky then you are able to name that solar system. Now if you enter into that solar system and someone else has already named it what you might be able to do is you might be able to leave that solar system and go to the next one. If the same player has already named that solar system, then you know that you're on the right path to finding them. Now, if, if for example, you actually leave that solar system, you go to the next one and the player hasn't named it, you can head back and then head to another solar system, say for example in the opposite direction, until you do find a solar system in which that player is named. Now if you use that in combination with a website, what you might be able to do is you might be able to upload your map to that website, and if the website has the technology, you could obviously compare the maps and potentially meet that way if that person is registered on that website. So that's another really fantastic thing that you might be able to use. Another tool that you could use to find other players would be that when someone makes a new discovery in No Man's Sky, the area that they're in twinkles on the galactic map. So what that means is, is that you could obviously pinpoint areas in which there are either clusters of people or there might be someone that's very close to you in which you see their map twinkle. Now what you're able to do on the galactic map is you are able to zoom in to a planetary level which obviously makes it slightly easier to find people that way. Now the last method in which I'm going to use is the most obvious method. Because we're all trying to make our journey towards the center, obviously as you head towards that center, the chances of you meeting other players are going to go up slightly. So although your chances go up ever so slightly, it's not by a huge amount whatsoever. I have gathered these theories from the information that I have on No Man's Sky, and if you wish to dispute them or anything like that, then you can check the links in the description uh, to find out more information on No Man's Sky. Now getting on to the little secret that I have for you guys, I would like to announce that I am going to try to find Queenie in No Man's Sky. Yes, we are going to be Starcross lovers. We may never accomplish the task. She will probably die a few times along with me, but we are going to try. Now guys, if you like this video in any way whatsoever, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you tomorrow.